guests. Uh, thank you for this humbling opportunity to allow me to represent Corporal Jason L. Dunham, Kilo Company, 3rd Battalion, 7th Marines, Brother in Arms. On November 10th, two days from now, we will be observing the Marine Corps' 233rd birthday and what would have been Jason's 27th birthday. In the short time I have to speak to you, I will attempt to describe Jason's conduct while he served as a squad leader in Kilo 37. Upon Jason checking in at Kilo 37, our company commander, Major Trent Gibson, at the time a captain, summoned all the newly arrived NCOs, seven in all, to give his guidance and to share with them what he believed what every leader of Marine should strive to achieve. He spoke the following. He told the NCOs that he believed in self-sacrifice for the greater good, leadership by example, and that one man can make a difference. Jason was a Marine's Marine. He showed compassion for his Marines by taking them under his wing and would not allow others to refer to the newly arriving privates and PFCs as boots. He was never condescending, always hardworking, and he truly cared for his Marines. He displayed a sense of responsibility that was beyond the years of a 22-year-old. His mother, Deborah, openly shared stories of Jason, much on the contrary, letting us in on how she would have to remind him on simple things, like take out the trash before it overflows and, hey, clean your room. He simply earned the respect of his men, never demanding it. In one profound example, he extended his enlistment in order to complete his tour in Iraq with the battalion. Sergeant Mark E. Dean, a Lance Corporal at the time of Jason's heroic actions and a member of his squad, remembers telling Jason that he was crazy for coming out there with him and explaining that Jason decided to come out here and fight with us. All he wanted was to make sure his boys made it home, and they did. The night prior to the execution of his patrol, he began writing his operations order that would be delivered first thing in the morning. He rolled into the company's combat operations center with cami trousers, boots, a notepad and pen, and no shirt on, displaying his tattoos, a skull with a helmet stamped with an eagle globe and anchor. a black skull with fangs on his left arm and a spade from a deck of cards with a skull gnawing on an eight ball on his chest. <clears throat> he quietly sat studying the satellite imagery of the company's area of operation, specifically the route that he was going to take that next morning and the area of interest. At around midnight on the 14th of April, his fire team leaders brought Jason a tray of hot chow. It was egg and, hot, and um, a ham omelet and some juice. At that moment, we had witnessed a prime example of how his subordinate leaders showed Jason that they cared for him as much as he cared for them. He had earned their respect. He lived his life with a warrior spirit. Bushido, meaning the way of the warrior, is described in seven principles. One, making the right decision with equanimity from the heart. When we must die, we must die. Rectitude. Two, courage, bravery, tinged with heroism, self-sacrifice. Three, benevolence and compassion toward man. Four, respect, an essential quality, courtesy. Five, honesty, utter sincerity, integrity. Six, honor. Seven, loyalty. Jason has blessed our lives. His platoon had a shirt made which read on the back, the internal bond self-sacrifice breeds will always course through our veins. Jason left us with the greatest example of self-sacrifice for the greater good. 
leadership by example, and that one man can make a difference. I could go into the details of the day that he earned this medal, but I will tell you that looking at Jason, what he stood for, it only made sense that when he was on that patrol that he would do those things, i.e., jump on that grenade to save his other buddies. And with that, I thank you.